Hello runlings. Um, so I'm back out again on a on a tent camp tonight. Um, I've been told I don't ever look at the weather or anything like that. I I pick a night and I go out and whatever the weather throws at me is what it throws at me. Um, but I was told I was having a conversation. I was told in conversation that uh, it's going to drop to minus five tonight, and I believe that because it's about half past two in the afternoon now and um my hands are like box of ice i haven't got gloves on me i've bought them with me but um and it feels like it's going to go down that low i can believe it um so uh we'll see how that goes i've got two pieces of new tonight i've uh brought a a tarp with me to make a shelter because it's been raining all day long it's it's luckily for me stopped just as i was on my way here it has been raining all morning all, all afternoon um so i bought a, a shelter i forgot to bring a raincoat of course i did um but hopefully if i can just get in and get the shelter up it's not going to matter anyway um and i'm going to try and go somewhere this time because i bought that i bought it before and i couldn't get into where i wanted to get to to use it um but i'm armed with power cords and some poles and so it'd be the first time i've ever done this despite the fact i've been camping for like a million years this would be the first time i've ever done this so um we'll see how it goes um and i and um i bought some the, the second piece of new is a 24 hour army ration british army ration first time i've ever used it i had a quick read of the ingredients but ingredients of, of what's inside the packet but it's all sealed i haven't opened it so i'll be opening it for the first time and seeing what's in there and i'm relying totally on that for all my food for tonight um but i kind of don't really know what it is because i read it at the time and then it came and i just quickly threw it in a bag as i was leaving so so that's the uh, two pieces of new today i've got lots of pieces of new but i don't want to keep bringing tons of stuff with me and not being able to concentrate on one yeah i'm sort of doing a bit of this that and the other and i'm not concentrating on specifics so I only try and sort of spread it out uh, so I can concentrate and give a proper get a proper understanding of whether I like it or not when I use it and so on um, I've stopped now because there's a car up there I don't know if you can see it there's a car up there cars can't come down here this is a footpath so I've stopped now because I don't know what that means I don't know why they're there and they shouldn't be there um, I'm considering going and disappearing into the forest where I'm standing as opposed to because where that car is is about where I want to be um, so I'm going to go off camera and check it out and we'll see how it goes but that's today's plan today's weather and today's today's today so um, regarding the shelter uh, I've been in here many times and I didn't realise how far apart the trees are I wanted two together so I could in the back of the shelter to the trees um, and it, they look really close together until you get there and then you realize how far apart they are um, which is a bit annoying I've been here loads of times never noticed that they're really quite far apart all the trees they look really dense until you get there and I think oh they're close together and I walk up there and go they're miles apart and then oh that looks really dense and I walked over there they're miles apart so um, wider than the the width of the shelter anyway so um, So I'm just going to use one tree and the two poles I've got. Um, so I might peg one corner to the ground, and then um, and then that that'll give it a, a slant. So if it does rain, it'll run off. So at least that will solve that bit. Uh, and then I'll just use the tree and then peg it up. Let's see how it goes. I can feel spots of rain, so I'm going to get cracking. Well, I wanted to, um, oh, the beer is soaking wet. I wanted to, um, I don't know if I wanted to time lapse it, but I wanted to sort of show you the process of putting it up. But on the last um, film piece, um, it just started to chuck it down. So I was kind of a bit scared of uh, spending ages setting the camera up first and all that lot. I just wanted to get it up. Um, but it's, you know, it's quite straightforward. Um, so I did what I said. There we go. Uh, that's what I've ended up with. 
Um, so uh, uh, th this is the full length of the poles I bought. I'm going to buy another set actually, because the bag it comes in is is absolutely huge. Um, so I could easily buy another set and put them in there with that same bag and not have to carry 10, 10 bags around because it would have easily set me if, um, have another set. Yeah, because I'm quite pleased with them. Um, that's the full length of it. There you go. Um, and I took a section off this one to make it slightly lower. And then that section I took off, I stuck in the ground there so that this is just slightly off the ground, giving you this, this sort of, you know, from this angle, a diamond sort of shape. And then when, you, when the water, it, it, that, that end, where else my finger? That end is shorter than that. And then obviously this dips. So the whole thing um, tilts. So, excuse me. So the rain should run off it. I nearly went into the guy ropes there and I bought, I bought, um, Mm. Bought camouflage um, <laughs> um, paracords and, and then I nearly walked into it because it's camouflage, of course. So, um, so I'm quite pleased with that. That's that's that's, that's what we got. Um, yeah. Uh, so the, you know the tree is one, and uh, made three posts out of the, and um, and then it stopped raining while I was doing it. So I'm, I may have. With hindsight, I could have taken the time to set the camera up and and then just showed you the process. But I mean, it's quite straightforward, isn't it? You know, once I tell you what, the what came with with, with the tarp is too odd because there's a loop on each corner. Two really rubbish tent pegs. Why not four? Because it has four 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 loops on each corner. So and they're but they're rubbish. They were like. Um, yeah, I, 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 people are complaining all the time about ten pegs. They say, "Oh, the ones that come with it are so rubbish." I bought my Delta Five Seven Five Three ones, um, and most of the time I'm like, "Really?" But actually, this this is rubbish. It's not very long, and it's really thin, and it's been raining a lot, as I said earlier. So the ground's really soft. And I thought I'd give it a go, and I, I put it in there, and as soon as I let go, it just pulled it straight out again. Because what else comes with it is the the the. Um, it comes with elasticated cord and I thought hmm you know but actually that's that's actually not bad because I put the elasticated cord on this one I think that's actually coming out of it <laughs> obviously um that is the a pole so it's probably I've probably pushed half a ton of dirt up the tube using it as a as a pole in the ground but the needs must so um and probably though i might even just use this configuration every time it seems to work all right and then probably won't matter anyway but yeah so anyway oh yeah i come over to show you this this is all elasticated <laughs> which is quite good actually because then um, when the rain's falling on it it's uh there's a certain amount of give i think that's going to be good anyway and the same with the one around the tree i ain't going to go over there it's quite straightforward it's, it's around the tree there's one around the tree um, but I used the there's there's enough left to use they're getting quite generous with what they gave you there's enough yes left to use it on the poles but I, that, that's not gonna work is it because the poles are gonna be like all over the place on the tree that's fine down there I think that's gonna be fine um, in a wind I don't think it'll last very long but there's there's like no wind whenever I come here I've come here loads of times now because I, I I think it's a really great place to come um, there's there's never a wind there's never any wind uh, except for my own but um so you know i'm not really worried about that and i think i think i know it's camouflage but i think stealth's gone out the window because um I, I'm, I'm not so fussed about stealth in this wood so i've been coming here a long time now and i've got a sense of what's when and where and round about now where are we more than a couple of weeks into november the the um the ferns are dying and they drop from about i don't know what five six foot to to sort of above knee level so they're not quite dead they as as winter goes on they get lower and lower and lower until they're just on the floor um and you probably have about this much thickness but now they're about knee level and because of that nobody comes in here because it's it's impossible you can't walk your dog in here there's the odd grass patch um which is where i go because i don't want to i know they're dying but i don't want to crush the vegetation i don't want to crush the ferns 
that's just me being weird perhaps but I, I don't so um so you can't walk a dog in here. you can't come for a walk in here because it's just i mean there's i can find little pathways that um the animals have made and i can i can walk across them disturbing it very little but you, you got to find them and and it, it take doesn't take you off necessarily where you want to go um so um it, it, because of that nobody comes in here at this time of year this time of year is absolutely perfect summer different in the dead of winter when everything's dead and it's possible to come in here um it's different but i have major confidence not to worry too much about stealth because um just nobody comes in here and as long as you go far enough away from the path nobody can see you on the path that you might hear them going past um i don't think they'll be able to see this um and after camping here this amount of time i'm not sure they care um so you know not <laughs> just tripped not too worried about stealth um and despite that being Camouflage, I think it was still, you still see it from a fair distance away, but I'm not worried about that. Um, so, yeah, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm rambling on and talking about that. Um, that I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with that. So, I had a I've been using a Trekology chair, a really low one. The idea being that um, in certain tents, when it chucks it down in rain, I can take it inside the tent and still sit up, even in a couple of my, well, two, I can only think of two actually, um, two man tents I've got that I can actually bring it inside and sit inside. The idea being, if I didn't want to lie down, um, I didn't have to sit on the floor. I don't like sitting on the floor, I'm too old too fat too old so that was the idea of having a low one um and it's done me proud uh, i really liked it it's uh it packs down quite small i mean it would do it's got shorter legs and all that but you know it packs down quite small it's quite light and it was a good chair but i was thinking um that the, the, the the problem i have with it which isn't a too big a deal is getting in and out of it because it's because it's so low i um i uh I just kind of roll out or I have to put my hand on the floor and sort of push myself up. I can't, I, I can't just sort of get up, you know, just all with my legs because you're kind of leaning back a lot and it, it, yeah. yeah. So I have to sort of roll out or put my hand on the floor and when it's pouring down with rain, um, means, you know, you're putting your hand on a muddy floor. Um, so I thought I'd try a, a taller one. Uh, you know, it won't go inside the tent, but I thought I'd try it and see how annoying that is. Um, it's a it's from Wish and it came in at £11 something I had a quick look on the website and your branded ones were coming in at sort of £30, £35 so this was 11 so it was, it was a good one and, you, and unlike the other ones you had a choice of colours as well choice of um, five different colours and I went for um, I can't remember what it was. There was a dark blue and a pale blue. I can't remember the exact names. So I went for pale blue. Um, so, so that's that's another piece of new today, um, which I don't think I mentioned earlier. I think I said I, I can't remember anyway. But that is another one. Um, yeah, look, nice colour. I like that. Not very stealth, but I like it. Um, and uh, you know, I um, eleven pounds something it was. Um, and I, uh, as I do with as much as I. As, as many things as I can I try and test them out at home before I take them away and I sat and watched the movie um, I set for getting up for to get a drink or go to the toilet or whatever I basically sat for two hours on it um, and not once did I sort of go oh ah, you know I was perfectly fine um, so it's comfortable it doesn't have a pocket my little even my little checkology has a little pocket quite a handy little pocket um, it doesn't have a pocket um other than that it's um it's pretty much the same they're all the same design it's pretty much the same as all the other ones so i went with the um the vango i have to look it up the vango hydra 200 um i think this is my most wintry tent um i would consider it a four season some of you might argue three i mean it pegs right down to the floor um the inner is solid 
all the way through except for a little square of vent at the back sides and a little square over the door which the door one you can zip up um, but other than that it's a solid tent um, so I would consider this a, a winter tent um, it's it's very heavy because it's a two man but I'm getting caught it it's very heavy um, and personally I think it's very heavy for uh, for a backpacking two man to be honest if I'm honest if I'm honest to be honest yeah I think it is and it's quite bulky as well um, but it has a, a nice decent sized vestibule there's loads of room inside um, you can only sleep at one end well you can sleep at both ends but you know it tapers down at the back for your feet and it's bigger at the front so you can only sit up at one end there are yeah, my, my force that is uh, which is a, I think a Chinese tent perhaps but that is um, you can sit up at each end there's loads of room and it's lighter and small packs down smaller and, and yet it's uh, it's bigger but it, the hole inside is mesh the whole, it, it, you know so um, although I prefer it and it's a little bit bigger it's a little bit bigger so I'm, and I wasn't sure what sort of space I'd get it's the trouble with stealth camping in it is you don't know you don't exactly know what you're gonna get when, until you get there well I don't anyway so um, I try not to get the big ones out in hindsight I could have done but I, it still would have been cold so that's today's tent it's my only I think that I, I can only I can I think I can only consider this my only winter tent really so I'll probably look into something else um, so I've got I like to have options I like to go um, I want a winter tent. Which one shall I choose? I've got summer ones I can go. Which one should I choose? But I've got winter ones. So I'm having to obviously stick to a budget because I have no money. So, uh, um, yeah. So, anyway, that's today's tent. Oh, yeah. Obviously, it's really dark now. It's enough weird. Um, I'm not used to this setup. I'm sat underneath the, the tarp. Um, so I have a kind of a I don't know what you'd call it a living area and now this kind of tent used to bridge the gap I used to keep one side of the door open in the vestibule and put everything in the vestibule and have a table next to the vestibule and I'd work from the table and the tent but now everything's under here the tent kind of has one less purpose it's just for sleeping in now so it's kind of weird um, that, that I've got like two separate areas I'm not used to that it's very luxurious putting a tarp up is very luxurious it feels like luxu more luxurious to be able to have a dedicated area so you can sit cook and what have you um, it's good but it's not good I can't explain it I'll tell you what though um, I was um, so, um, I've got um, chills, they're mold applying. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, I've, I've got um, the, um, I don't understand why, because I'm going to have to go back over my uh, old um, videos. I, don't, I never watch them once, once they're on YouTube, unless somebody watches an old one and has a question, and, I'm, and I, I, I go back to see what they're talking about, because I can't remember anything I did two months ago let alone a year ago or two years ago some some of them um, but other than that I don't go back and watch them but I'm gonna have to go back and have a look at my l l the last ish video I did in winter in the coldest of winter because um, I was in this this was a, a last minute thing I was just quickly oh I can do this um, and I just threw everything together and it just sort of filled up the the rucksack and I'll, I'll, but I've got this and this and this and this so I had to carry a separate like a little mini sports bag it's a really cool bag actually you, when you um, each end is half a half a Death Star this is going to be geeky it's a Star Wars thing it's half a Death Star when you take everything out of it and you're transporting it you can zip the two ends together tuck all the middle in so it's a sphere and it's a Death Star anyway 
So I had this little bag and filled that up as well. So I'm carrying my rucksack and which is full up and I'm carrying it. And I'm thinking, well, obviously I didn't have to do that last year. So what? why am I suddenly feeling out what, 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 what's more than last year? I can't, I mean, there's this, the pointing at the, the shelter, but it's in a bag like that. It's really flimsy material. It, it's not very strong, but I mean, don't care about that, only has to keep the rain off. Um, so it folds down really tiny. Um, and I've got the poles, but they fold down really small. They hardly take up any space at all. That's not enough to make me fill up another sports bag. So I don't understand. I'm going to have to look over my equipment last year and see what, what I've bought that's extra. I think maybe in the summer I bring extra stuff because you travel lighter and I'm quite happy to, to, to fill up the difference with uh, luxuries, which is the only thing I can think of. And then in the winter I've got extra stuff to bring and I still want my luxuries, I mean, but I can't think off the top of my head what that is. Um, regarding my clothes, um, a lot of people bring like jumpers and in insulation underwear and then a coat and then this and that and then I bring two things with me. I, I brought, I've got a, a, a thin down jacket and a really thick down jacket. I wear my thin one while I'm walking in, which is usually a bit too hot for that. Um, and then when it starts to get a bit nippy, I whack uh, the other one over the top. So I've got two, essentially two down jackets. So I don't need to worry about jumpers and hoodies and this and that. And that does me, in the, in the dead of winter, that does me a good one. My ears are cold though. I, should have, I, I put my hood up to keep my head warm. But when you're moving your head around, it's, it's really rustly in your ear and you can't hear anything. So while I'm talking, I, my hood goes down. Uh, yeah, so um, it's interesting that I, but I didn't have time to sort of reevaluate and look at everything and, and uh, uh, oh, oh, what, what, what was, was it? I didn't need to go. I, I made the decision I needed to go, so I just filled up that bag and carried it. It's painful because it was heavy, but well, it's not heavy, but I was carrying it for a long period of time. I got my camera in one hand and the sports bag in the other, and I'm like, eh, but anyway, I need to, I need to look into that and perhaps try and streamline something. Well, I'm starving, so I'm gonna quickly. Um, I'm gonna have a look into tonight's meal. Um, it's a big ass bag, isn't it? And it's actually quite weighty. Um, so I'm guessing that's one of the contributions to the extra weight I'm carrying this evening. Um, and now I'm supposed to get into it. I wanted to preserve the bag so I could use it as a as a rubbish bag this evening. I didn't bring a rubbish bag on purpose because I wanted to use this one. Because I'm presuming every time I eat something, I'm going to want to chuck it back in the, the bag. So, I have. Come on, foldy yuppie. Oh, safety. There we go. Safety first. Right, so I have a. Oh, a whole bunch of condiments here. Tea. Oh, there's a spoon or sport. Tea, sugar, wipes. Uh, I don't know what that is. And some tissue paper. Um, I'll have a look at that later. It's not food. What's this then? Powdery, something powdery. Oh, um, that's breakfast sorted tomorrow. That's, um, oh, I'll tell you what, I'm really annoyed. I forgot to bring milk. I think you've got to add a muesli with milk. Oh, this one says with milk. Well, oh, so it looks like you probably just had water then. So we'll look into that later. So that's tomorrow's breakfast. Uh, sausage casserole, that's what I'm going to be eating in a minute. So obviously you just chuck that in the, in the hot water. The, warm it up and I've got loads of drinks so I know that's an energy drink but I'm just sitting on my ass all evening I don't need any energy uh pina chana alu what the hell does that mean chickpeas with onions tomato paste 
So, I mean, just 24 pa hour packs, does that mean some of it's lunch? Or intended for lunch? Uh, ooh, cinnamon cake. Num num. Uh, the, the sad thing is, this is a 24 hour pack. I could probably eat all this in one night. Um, drink powdered with flavour. Okay, so that's... That's not exactly um, giving you a, a lot of um, indication of what it is. Oh, lime flavour. Lime flavour drink. Presumably you can drink them hot or cold. Um, and I have hot chocolate. Oh, that'd be a nice one this evening, actually. I'm not a massive hot chocolate fan, so I don't, I'm not, I don't really have a sweet tooth, but um, it's pretty nippy out here, so that might be a welcomed. Another energy drink. And fruit flavoured powdered drink and peanut butter. I love peanut butter, but I've got to have it on something. Oh, I think that's answered that. Oh, cookies and cream flavoured bar. Cookies and cream flavour. So, um, just nuts, and it literally just says. Just nuts. Don't want to sell that one, do they? Uh, what's that? Oh, what? What? Pretty 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 bad. Water purification tablets. That's jolly handy. And ah, is this what is this? Oatmeal block. Sweet oatmeal. Well, are you supposed to just like squeeze the peanut butter straight into your gob? Oh, matches. And spicy red chilli sauce. To go where? Out of all the stuff I pulled out, where, where, where does that go? I'm supposed to put that on. And tropical fruit nuts. So I personally, I love peanut butter, I absolutely love it. But I personally want to have it on something. I can't just squeeze it into my mouth. Um, Maybe you can, maybe when you're out in the field fighting and killing people, um, you know, you just want an energy drink any way you can get it. Well, that one's actually not sealed, so I can actually have a proper look at. Big old spoon. I need to bother bring my tissues. Um, What's that? Oh, dental gum. I guess, uh, you know, in the field, brushing his teeth with it. Um, I don't know what that is, it doesn't say. It might do in the tons of writings in there, but uh, uh, there's another one in case I wanted another one of whatever it is. I reckon it's some sort of wipes. Um, these are sugar. Um, I don't have sugar on anything. I don't put it on cereals, in my tea, coffee, in here. And I just dropped one on the floor. Instant coffee. Tea bags. That's, that's more sugar. More sugar. Tons of sugar. I guess it's all about um, energy, isn't it? Um, Oh, I really want to know it's so cold out here. Um, there you go, that's what's in there. I'm gonna have the sausage casserole and eat one of the, the creamy bar thing while I'm uh, while I'm doing that. While I'm waiting for my my food to be cooked, um, I just had a thought about um, about this. Um, I have. I have brought a head torch with me, but I, I, every time I come out, I kind of think, well, what was the point? Because I started off using head torches, um, and they are useful. Um, and I've got, I've gone through a few over the years, um, and settled for one I really like, but um, I never use it because it was kind of by accident. I, I bought this this lanyard, um, and I hung a torch off the end because I just thought. I found it to be quite useful just to just generally keep on keep on me have a torch handy all the time 
um, and then I realised I stopped using the head torch because um, this has got quite a wide film field of beam. You can you can narrow it and widen it, and when it's quite wide, if you just switch it on and let it dangle around yourself, it, it highlights what you're doing because it's pretty much in front of you. Um, and when you're walking around, it sort of points on the floor so you can see where you're going. And then when I want to look at somewhere specific, it's just it's this there. I lift it up and point it wherever. Um, and I found that I didn't I didn't find myself going. God, this is annoying. I have to put. Uh, 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 where's my head torch? I just found that to be no bother whatsoever, and I didn't end up putting my head torch on. So I've stopped using it. A, a long time ago, I stopped using it. And it's um, just occurred to me, sort of thing, that um, it, there's been quite a few camps. I've, I've accumulated quite a few camps now to reach a point where I'm thinking, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't really want it anymore don't really need it anymore you know because it sometimes I th you sort of think well is it, it's just a one-off maybe I'll need it next time maybe I'll need it next time and I don't I don't use it anymore and this this seems to be more than sufficient you know I've got I've got a light on the GoPro just for filming because obviously you can't see without it and other and I, and without that, you have to position lights around somewhere and, and underneath this tarp there's nowhere to hang it so you'd have to sort of position it around and lift it up and you, you end up, if it's over here, it's dark over here and, and, and I used to have all sorts of problems. Buying this GoPro light, it was the best thing ever because it's on, on the GoPro, switch it on and it's pointing at you no matter where you are, what the light is anywhere else, you've got that. And that's brilliant. And then I've got this one other light which, I'm, which I've hung off of here at the moment because there's nowhere there's nowhere that's brilliant that is it's got a remote control you um there's actually nowhere to hang it under the tarp so i've um hung it off my tripod that sort of lights up the camp quite well so that's the only three lights it's you know this a sort of generalized lamp and the gopro one and if i wasn't filming i would only need two lights because they they between the two of them are uh, more than I need, not more than I need, and and as a, from a stealth point of view, the one I just showed you, the little puck shaped one, is brilliant because wherever you're standing in the camp, if you hear something and think, oh, is that some? You can you got a remote control in your pocket, you just turn it off. You don't have to rush back to the the lamp, tripping on ca uh, cables and stuff. Um, so it's a brilliant one that puck one. It also you can. Um, it's like an emergency charger as well, you can plug stuff into it, like power bank. I've got a power bank with me, but yeah, you can do that. It's got different settings and stuff, obviously. Um, and I think that's really good, rechargeable, don't take batteries. Um, so between those three, that's all I ever seem to need. Um, I used to take all different lights, there's like two torches and a light for here, a light for there. And I slowly just, every camp you do and you don't use it, you don't use it, you don't use it. You, th you think, well, I don't need that. I'm not going to bring that. And I've reached that point with the, the head torch as well. I, I think back, think, well, the last, I don't know, five or six, I haven't even picked it up. Um, I think I've got it tonight. I, I didn't, not because I brought it, it was just, I think it's just in the bag. Um, but I'm going to, you know, I'm going to stop bringing that as well because as long as I've got this one, that's more than enough. And I was just sitting there thinking about that, you know, when you buy equipment, especially when you're first starting, when you buy equipment you th that you think you need or, or you see other people using, so you think, well, if they're using it, then obviously I need it. Um, and but then everyone camps different, everyone likes different things, and and then you uh, you find yourself not using it, not using it, and you think, oh, there's no point bringing it anymore. It's not, it's not for me. And I've just reached that point with the head torch. So the sausage casserole is really nice. I'm enjoying it. The spoon, however, oh, it's hot, 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 hot. It's nice having a hot meal when you when it's freezing. I don't think we've hit minus yet, but it's, I think it's pretty close. Um, the only thing I don't like about the spoon is this is the, the deepest spoon ever. So when you put, put it in your mouth, you kind of end up um, 
you can take it out of your mouth there's like still half a ton of stuff in the bottom of the spoon because you can't your mouth just simply in that shape and the only other thing you can do is sort of like quickly flick it up and out because you can get your tongue in there then risk making out of a mess and the other way is like like that and you're like so deep it's unbelievably deep obviously because they're trying to cover you for breakfast as well but but like it's, it's, it's too much but other than that uh yeah i've got my own spoons but i thought you know i've got that but other than that um yeah the sausage casserole was really nice and i had that creamy i was um what did i say it was a cream cookies and cream flavored bar that was a white couldn't see where the cookies and cream were it looked like it wasn't but it looked like i should have shown you it looked like it was coated in poppy seeds because it was all black bits so it had gone off because i wasn't expecting to see that on something that says cookies and cream but uh, it wasn't poppy seed but it just looked like that um it was quite nice but i couldn't see where the cookies and cream came from because it was very i don't know what they what, what to say it was it wasn't very soft it wasn't rock hard but it wasn't very soft and it was very nougaty this is yummy <laughs> 500 mil that's a hell of a lot of water um, and because it, it's saying I need to use so much 500 mil it's a massive amount because I needed so much I had to use me a big pot as opposed to not well you know I have to use that to boil the water but because um, I didn't bring my kettle um, but I'm gonna have to drink out of it as well because um, that is way bigger than my my little cup I bring with me so um, I'm gonna have to drink out of it I mean it's a massive amount that is a that is a huge amount uh, of water um, I had to double check you know considering you know you I mean that's like I mean is it for is it for two people that's like twice as much as my mug 500 mil I doubled and triple checked I ain't gonna be drinking all of that it's too much it's gonna be nice um, having hot chocolate I mean I'm kind of I'd already decided to have hot chocolate but um, it's quite rare for me so I thought I'd give it a go because um, as I say I don't really have a sweet tooth but um, I was kind of forced to do it anyway because I forgot to bring milk back in the day when I first started doing this I used to bring powdered milk um, and then much later on I thought well actually why don't I just bring some milk even in the summer it's only got to last one night as long as it's not in direct sunlight um, so I started just I found a little tiny little bottle and uh, I just put milk in it and I forgot tonight though so I don't I'd rather have a white coffee but I'll have to have a coffee a black coffee in the morning oh my lights just died he's charging obviously so I'm gonna have to have a, a, a white a black coffee in the morning and uh, obviously tonight uh, I've actually got some other sachets so I could just drink like black coffee all the time but we'll see how it goes I'd like to keep the hot drinks coming anyway I'm gonna sign off because I've got a <laughs> My lights just died. I'm I'm here, tucked in amongst. Uh, it's really rustly in my ears, but I've had I'm I'm too cold to take it off now, so it's it's a bit difficult to hear. Hear myself in a sense. So it's been. Um, I just wanted to mention that it's been. It has been noted. That it's been a while since I've I've uploaded a video because um, 
I wanted to uh, I wanted to and have been fairly recently doing one every I've been in, been in a situation where I can do one one a week um, I'm trying to make them come out on Fridays just to have a bit of consistency but um, but the one a week thing is because I love camping and that's kind of I'll do it more if good um, but I've never been in a, in a for, for personal reasons I've never been in a a situation where I, I can do it once a week and, and, and now I can um, so I have been doing that and I have had one video I've had a floater um, and I have that so that if there's anything goes wrong I can use use the floater and put that out on the next week even though I didn't go camping because I've got someone of one spare and then I can resume hopefully camping again and try and make that floater back at some point um, but I used the floater and still didn't camp it's been a, it's been a, a, a while and the reason being because my partner's um, father has become well not become he's, he's had cancer for a while and it's become critical now and um, and uh, so we've been going up and, and visiting him it's it's a it's a long way away so we, we've had to sort of go up there and stay there and um, we've been going to the hospital visiting him from pretty much when it opens to when it closes um, so obviously I've not really been in a position to um, to, to release anything but um, what's what's happened now is uh, is that my van as if I needed that my van broke down um, on the way back from one of the visits because um, obviously I have to keep coming back to go to work and then go back up there when I'm off so I've had no time at all um, but my van broke down when it broke down it got me home but um, it needs some some stuff doing to it and I, so I um, so I haven't been able to I won't be able to go back up there until it's fixed um, I'm actually um, off work today um, I've got I had two holidays remaining and, and I decided to use them so that I could do a camp and still go up there with my partner on, on, the, on the days off but as it happened my um, my van needs to go in and get repaired and um, so I've so I'm staying down here while I wait for the van to get repaired because I have a little 125 motorbike which is no good for doing a two and a half hour drive <laughs> um, obviously my partner's got a car but for various reasons because we're going and coming at different times we need to use our own vehicles for various reasons we have been going up in the same vehicle but um, you know so that obviously is an option but for various reasons we have to go separately because I still have responsibilities down here like taking my daughter to school and so so on so <clears throat> so I've been um, so sometimes we have to go up separate in separate vehicles because we to try and be with her as much as I can my partner be with my partner as much as I can but it's also um, but I need to come back to do some various stuff so um, so that's gone into well t tomorrow actually I'm taking it in to get repaired and I'm kind of in a sense stranded down here until um, until it gets repaired um, and I thought oh camp because uh, despite the fact that um, some rather horrible things have happened um, it's uh, it's not a case of oh I don't care about all that I'm gonna go off and have myself a camp it's actually quite therapeutic and quite um, relaxing and quite um, enjoyable so it's nice to have um, a way of trying to sort of not forget but make yourself feel better and perhaps a little recharge so you can go back and, and carry on um, so so you know I, ne I didn't camp um, so I could spend all my time uh, supporting my partner but also um, but now I'm kind of in a position where I can camp because I'm kind of forced to have the time at home um, 
so I took the opportunity to go camping to because it really does recharge you and and make you feel better and uh, perhaps not forget but deal with everything that's happening a bit better um, because for me camping is very therapeutic the, the peace and the quiet and the and the um, yeah, you know, I like all aspects of the, of the camping. I like bringing my own home with me and getting out all my own products. And and uh, I love the fact that oh, they're all very sort of um, cleverly made because they're made to be light. And, and and you open this out and pull that out and make this, and, and it's all oh, there's me. You know, I like I like all that. I like that's what I like about camping. That's why um, in in the camper van it's it's nice, but uh, you know if they're, they're fixed products and, and when you sit in the camper van and cook it's it's fixed but here you get it all out and unfold it and put it together and and you get all your gadgets out and there's all sorts of special stuff that's made to work all, all specially and and you bring it home with you and you can choose your different home with the camper you've got a camper and that's your camper and that's all you're getting but with the uh, with the tent you can choose different tents and styles and shapes and and uh and um and bring all that with you and there's this this, this nice you know the the gadget side of it is really nice but also um you know along with the the peace and quiet in a beautiful environment and um and all that gives you a focus and a, a, a something to to take your mind away and um and then when i go back to it all again it's um i'll be more refreshed perhaps um which is why this tonight was a sort of a, a kind of a last minute thing you know it's not like not literally last minute you know i so i got up and decided to go out in two two minutes I, and i i it, it was um it was i knew i was going to do it around this time ish um i was going to do it last night but i didn't and um tonight i was on the fence and at the last minute i just went oh, right no it's going to be tonight um which is why I just chucked everything, picked everything up, chucked everything in the bag, and then went, well, I've got so much stuff, but right, I need another bag, because I haven't got time to think about it, and I went out. Um, so that's why I haven't released anything for a long time, really, um, um, and, I, and I suspect, maybe, there might be another gap after this one as well, because um, we don't know exactly what's going to happen in the future, so... Um, since they may, be, I might, I might be able to keep them regular, but I don't, I don't know for sure because I don't actually know what is going to happen to my partner's dad. We don't know how long he's got. So that's it for tonight. I'm um, all uh, teeth brushed and all that lot, and uh, I'm going to go sleep now. And uh, I've got an early one tomorrow because I'm taking my daughter to school so I've got to get up early and a lot to pack away and I want to get a breakfast and a coffee in and stuff so it's a really early morning so it's an early night because I'm getting an early morning so good night good morning everything's iced up so it must have reached minus something uh, sorry I thought I saw a torch in the distance so it must have reached minus something last night because everything is completely iced up. Yeah, you see that. Um, interesting that I woke up this morning and my sleeping bag was soaking wet. Um, what I think has happened before it got frosty is the dew was so, so heavy because my inner tent was wet as well. But the sides weren't, but the top was. So I think it, the dew was so heavy that it was literally dripping onto the top of the inner tent, which eventually dripped down onto my sleeping bag. Um, and then eventually that stopped. Oh, my light's gone off again. I've got this one here. Um, eventually that stopped um, because uh, the, uh, the ice sort of crept in and, and froze everything but uh, initially the dew was so so thick and heavy that it just dripped onto the inner tent 
and, and that that soaked and then it dripped onto a sleeping bag. Um, first time it's ever happened to me, ever. Um, I think the uh, the ice stopped it. <coughs> so, uh, so there you go. Uh, uh, Got to get breakfast on. I'm glad I bought the. Um, I bought in the, the the some stuff I left outside, and because I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be icy in the end. Because I went to bed, you know, I thought it'd start getting icy or, or really cold before I went to bed, um, and it didn't. So I thought, oh, it's not going to hit, you know, minus temperatures tonight. It's going to get close, but so I left a lot of stuff outside, which is now all iced up. Um, but I did bring in um, my uh, my stove and and, my, and the water and stuff like that, which I'm glad because uh, inside it looks like it just just about kept it above the minus temperatures because nothing my water wasn't frozen or anything. Um, so I saved some stuff. Uh, I left my seat out here, which is now iced up. Looks like I'm gonna be putting away everything wet because it's iced up. Uh, which means I've got to dry it all out when I get home, which is kind of a thing I hate about camping is having to dry everything out. But uh, say la vie, it's, it's what you've got to do. I'm going to get some breakfast and, on, and a coffee going. So I had the muesli for breakfast. <coughs> you had water, it's muesli with milk. You just had water. I put a bit too much water in, so I had to kind of guess the measurement. Because <coughs> my little... <coughs> Jug has a as a measure in it, but it doesn't go down as little as a hundred. So I sort of guessed, and because it was hundred ml of water, so I guessed and got it a bit wrong. But muesli's muesli, you can't go wrong with it. I like muesli; it's nice. That's my breakfast sorted. Um, I'm hugging my coffee. This coffee's from the the ration pack as well. I forgot milk, so it's. I don't mind coffee without milk, but I'd rather have milk if I can. And I'm just hugging it to keep my hands warm. I have got gloves, but they're so thick that um, you can't really wear them while you're trying to do stuff. Um, so you keep taking them off, putting them on, taking them off, putting them on. So I've been sort of avoiding using them really. When I'm when I'm idle, I just stick my hands in my pockets. And at the moment, I've got a nice warm cup to hold on to hot drink hot mug it's all good I need to uh, it's still pitch black I don't know when it when the time <clears throat> I don't know when the sun comes up it's five past six <laughs> I think the sun doesn't really come up till about seven, or maybe just before. So I'll be packing away in the dark, but it means that I'll probably be leaving just as it's getting light. So I think um, here's a good place to sign off, because all I'm doing now is finishing my coffee and going, and it's pitch black, you can't see nothing. Um, so, um, so I should say goodbye. Um, so it's been a good camp. <clears throat> it's gonna been a nice recharge. Um, uh, this this shelter ended up being useless because uh, it rained a little bit while I was putting it up, and that was it. Um, but it was an interesting experience putting it up, and, and now I've got that in my <clears throat> repertoire to to consider if I'm going away. Uh, it's not so easy to use it with stealth because it is a bit of a it's camouflage but it is a bit of a big flag telling everyone I'm here which is not so bad in this forest but generally speaking I probably can't um, can't use it but um, as I say it's an option and an experience and uh, but yeah I really enjoyed this camp it was a really good one um, bit chilly this morning but it's winter in it um, I prefer winter if I'm honest camping <clears throat> less people around less bugs 
<clears throat> as long as you've got the right equipment, there's no reason to be cold. I mean, last night, <clears throat> we obviously hit minus temperatures, but um, I took my trousers off straight away because they were muddy, so I didn't want to wear them inside the sleeping bag. But after, I don't know how long, after a while, I took my down coat off because it was too hot. And then after a while after that, I took my socks off because it was too hot. So I was just in my pants and my t-shirt. Um, and I was just right. Perhaps a little bit warm because in the night my zip came down a little bit. Um, letting the air in and I, and I allowed that because it was about right, you know, with letting the air in. I didn't do it all up around me. It was all open at the top and it was just right. <coughs> I woke up this morning and found out it's minus temperatures. So, um, it shows how good that uh, sleeping bag is. It's a Rab, the Rab 900. Um, it shows how good it is because, um, you know, I was, I was stripped off. According to my app, um, weather app, it says it's minus one. Yeah, so in minus one, it's still too hot. <clears throat> I still had to take all my clothes off and, and, and allow air to cold air to pour in the top to temp, to regulate it so um, that shows how good it how good it is <clears throat> so I was plenty warm and comfortable in the night <clears throat> I got my um, my sleeping pads rab as well it's got a 5.5 R rating <clears throat> and I didn't feel cold so all my equipment is doing its job. So I was warm when I was asleep. I'm warm when I'm out here. So winter doesn't bother me. Uh, so I actually prefer it because it keeps keeps people away, bugs away, and it's a nice makes for a nicer camp. <clears throat> so anyway, um, so yeah, it's been a good one. I really enjoyed this. Um, I hope I can do another one soon, but we'll see. And uh, thanks for watching. <coughs> see you around. I know I've already said goodbye, but I just had to stop for a moment and take this in before I leave. I'm all packed up because uh, it got light while I was packing up it took me a, a good hour to pack everything away which is unusual it's because of that shelter but look at this <laughs> isn't that gorgeous it's a shame I couldn't uh, stay longer and enjoy it in the daytime for a bit more but um, oh well, it is gorgeous here and uh, it's a shame that's the only downside of winter is is the, the darkness right then see you about